Hi, it's April 1st here in Sweden. I just came home. I took a bike ride through the city. And of course, there have been enormous consequences here in Sweden as well from the COVID-19 crisis. But if you look at it, um, just passing through the city, things seem like it's not that different from any given day. There are smaller crowds than it would be on a sunny day like this, but there's still a lot of people out and about um, having coffee or just taking strolls through the, the city. And I've gathered that this makes Sweden different than a lot of other countries and an outlier. Um, I think the, the differences are in terms of tactics and not in strategy. Uh, and I would claim that there are two main differences that set Sweden apart. The first is, of course, that the levels of restrictions are not yet close to what we've been told have been enacted in other countries. The public health authority, which is the main authority in charge of handling the crisis here in Sweden, are simply claiming that the level of inf infection here in Sweden is not yet such that it will warrant higher levels of restrictions. So they want to uh, wait for a specific target of infections and maintain that level. So restrictions will increase in the coming days, but still they are very, very loosely. The largest one being a ban on gatherings uh, of 50 people or more. And the other thing that sets Sweden apart is that these restrictions are being enforced through recommendations from authorities and not uh, as laws and tied to repression. Um, this might seem strange in time when the state is roaring back in all countries and, and um, restrictions or, or repression is one of the main um, tools to, to counter the crisis. But in Sweden, there's a, there's a long-standing tradition uh, of subsidiarity. So the authorities that are closest to the areas affected are supposed to handle the crisis. And since the authorities can only uh, issue recommendations and not enact law, this is the way that things have been handled so far in Sweden. Now, this is made possible by high faith in, in, in uh, government and authorities here in Sweden traditionally, and also vice versa, high faith in the compliance of these recommendations. It's no time to get into specifics now, but there's still a strong general consensus on the measures taken and there's a strong faith uh, in the, the work done by the authorities. The coming weeks will be a test of that model and the success of the measures, the levels of infections and deaths so forth, so forth will decide the future viability of this model. But so far that has made possible a, a, it's quite calm strategy here from Sweden, and we'll see in the coming weeks uh, whether or not this turns out to be a good uh, tactic.